Well, good morning and welcome to the second day's coverage of the USDGC. A big day. I mean, look right behind us and you can see the PDGA tent full of school kids out here cheering players on. That's right, Billy. It couldn't be a better day for these guys to come out here. The sun is shining. The grass is green. It's a perfect temperature. I'm so happy to be in South Carolina right now. I can't wait to see some more USDGC action. Well, yesterday there was lots of action to be seen. Almost six hour rounds. I mean, it was arduous. Guys were having to focus and they were cracking left and right list. Absolutely. How could you not crack on a course that has so much OB, so many really technical, challenging golf shots? I mean, these guys aren't experienced with this type of golf and they're not experienced with playing six hour rounds either. Well, the pros, the top pros that are here are not accustomed to this either and they're having to deal with it on a on a second to second basis. You're right. They're, they are, they've achieved such a level of status that they're used to playing with guys that aren't thrown in the water all the time, that aren't throwing OB. They hardly ever see red flags when they play with the competitors that are equal to them. But again, this is a different format. It allows more people to experience the USDGC and I know that everyone that gets a chance to play with a top pro is just, the look, in, the look in their eyes says it all. Well, just to give you an idea, David Felberg, he's in the lead. He is the highest rated player in the world. He is the lowest projected score here at a 62. And I love the kids in the background. <laughs> he shot a 56. He's on the lead card. He's Just, accomplishing something amazing right now. I mean, well, they set is. this up that, you know, he had to shoot. Uh, he shot six better than his projected score, and his projected score was already hard enough to attain. Well, and to give you perspective, at four under par on the same card, shooting a 78. And that is exactly what this tournament is designed to do. It's designed to bring everybody together and to try and compare their skill level. And David is going to have to have another outstanding day or he's going to slide right away from that lead. Absolutely. It'll be fun to watch if the guys that are all of a sudden on the lead card at the USDGC, players that never thought they'd be able to get there and they're there, it'll be fun to see what they throw today. Well, we could see some people fold like a lawn chair on the beach. We hope not, but there's going to be some extra tension this afternoon. Before we get started, though, let's go over for one of our favorite things. Here's some PDGA player talk. All right, we are standing with the one, the only. This is Ken Climo, five-time champion of the USDGC, along with numerous other titles. Ken Climo, how are you feeling today? Pretty good. It's a nice Carolina blue day out there. Oh, Ready to get a little absolutely. practice round going. <laughs> All right. Well, we're just. This is a PDGA player talk, and we just want to know a little bit more about you. Biggest news in your life, probably right now, is that you're about to have a baby. Yes, how baby far girl. Uh, Thanksgiving is a due date, but it's probably going to come a little sooner than that because she's really big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. I'm sure your wife Kelly will be happy as you are to help that little baby girl be welcomed into the world. Oh, we can't wait. It's going to be a joyous occasion. We've got everything we need. Clearly, uh, nursery's done. Everything's put up and painted. I'm sure it's lined with discs. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe some teething minis. <laughs> <laughs> teething minis. There you go. Well, we just want to know a little bit about your uh, favorites. What's your favorite course in the United States? Wow. That's a tough question. There's a lot of good ones out there. I'd like to say Warwick. Warwick, and Warwick. Uh, what, what makes it your favorite place? Oh, just because of the variety. It's got a good variety of holes, and there's uh, two, two tees, two pins on every hole. They're always there, so you can play a combination of holes at any time. Short tee, long basket, long tee, short basket, long to long, short to short. It's just, it's all out there for you to play at all times, and it's a, it's a good it's a good course. It has a lot of good shots on it. It's beautiful. All right, Warwick Park looks like a place we're all going to have to check out. Thanks so much for your time, Ken, and uh, congratulations for your Thanksgiving arrival. Thanks. My favorite hole on USDGC course is hole Five. <laughs> All right, this is PDGA Player Talk with Old Man Wallace and Wilbur Wallace, two guys that are going to work hard all week long to make sure that the players get all the help that they need. Where are you guys coming from? Uh, Rantoul, Illinois. Illinois. Peoria, Illinois. All right, so that's quite a bit of a drive. And I know you have one more in your crew, Mom. She's not here right now, but she's been helping out all week oh, yeah. too. Wilbur, this is your first time here. What do first you think? First time here. Ah, uh, love it. Can't wait. To, I'm going to play it on Spectator Day. Can't wait. It'll be my 250th <laughs> course. So. 250 It'll courses. Be awesome. Wow. Yeah. Well, this is the one that you want to put right up there at the top, exactly. I imagine. Exactly. It looks sweet. Sweet. <laughs> and where are they going to have you working all week, old man? Uh, Mom and I will be on hole 18. All week. I know you guys make a pretty good tandem team up there. Red flag, green flag. Uh, we have a lot of fun up there. Cool. I love seeing the, the players come through and uh, do their best. All right, there you have it. This is Old Man and Wilbur Wallace here to help you players all week long. 
Well, we've just been able to track down Michael Barnett. He is the owner at Sun King Disc Sports down in Florida. Now, Michael, you're here this week. You're not necessarily playing, but what, what are you here doing? Uh, we got a great opportunity to become part of the event uh, as, the, uh, as the player's uh, party sponsor. And uh, so we're down. I actually had an exemption spot and gave it to uh, one of our newest team members, uh, Cam Todd. And uh, we're just down. I'm taking a couple days off and having a little bit of fun and, you know, coming and joining the scene. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's a wonderful day here down in South Carolina. This is a great course, a great track, and, you know, we're so glad that you're helping out sponsor the Players Party. What's next for you after this big event? Uh, go back to Florida. We've got, uh, we wrap up our Florida tour, uh, a couple events, and also uh, our tour, the Tour del Sol, wraps up in December. So i uh, still got a couple big events before the year uh, wraps up. And then uh, we start booking for the disc golf cruise for next, for 2013. Ah. We've got uh, some big spring events planned for, for an AM series throughout the Southeast. And uh, we're just gonna keep pounding away. Well, there you hear it. Working all season long for this sport that we all love. This is Michael Barnett with Sun King Disc Sports. Thanks, Liz. Well, for your PDGA player talk, we have tracked down Mike Kernand out of New Orleans. <laughs> Mike, tell us your story. Do you, you like the course so far this year? Um, well, we just pulled up. Uh, I played here a couple of years before. It doesn't look uh, too much different. I'm really looking forward to the challenge. It's beautiful. Uh, the weather's beautiful. Right. So Friends now are here. Everyone. You think you know. you're going to be ready to play all week long? Uh, not my, not I. Uh, I. I'm just rolling in. Uh, Today and tomorrow, I got to fly it out. Wednesday night, got to go back to work, unfortunately. But That's I was able weird. to sneak Why? away for Tuesday and Wednesday. Did you just want to feel the vibe of the USDGC? Uh, yeah, the players pack is worth the drive alone and uh, just see some old friends and see how the new format uh, works out. Just kind of curious to see what's uh, what's going on. But sure, and have you ever been to any USDGC before or this is your first opportunity? Yeah, this is my third one. Uh, I was here last time in 2005. And were you a registered player in 2005? Mm -hmm. Awesome. How did you do that year? Uh, that year I didn't cash. Uh, <laughs> 2003 I cashed. Uh, had, had a great uh, tournament experience. And uh, Well, we're happy to see you all the way up from New Orleans. Again, Mike Kernan, thanks for stopping out and yeah. safe travels home. All Hope right. you enjoy your players back. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the PDGA Player Talk. I think we should go check out some action. Well, let's get some live action as we've got some action behind us. The kids are here. The USDGC is in full effect. It's day number two, Thursday morning. This is hole number seven at the USDGC. This is our lead card, and David Felberg, 1040 rated, throwing one up over. There's a tailwind here today. It doesn't seem to cause him any trouble whatsoever. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Now, we just talked to David's caddy, uh, Casey All's house out of Florida. And Casey says he believes right now that little Dave Wiggins is one ahead of Dave in the projected scores. Well, yeah, you better know if Dave David Wiggins is one ahead John of John Hollis still, on the tee now. That's right. Uh, he's out of Oregon, too. Same town as David Felberg, I believe. Well, and if, if Wiggins and, and Big Dave are in that battle, I mean, man, at least, at least they've got somebody to push each other with. Yeah, it sounds like it. And I... Uh, from what I just heard as well, David Wiggins seems like he's experiencing a little bit of trouble, so he may have at one point have been a couple of strokes above Dave Felberg. Well, here's a beautiful sidearm coming in from John. Whoa, these guys are playing good. Well, now, John, is a, he's a consummate player. I mean, he's he's a grinder. That's uh, right. He's been playing since 2003 and plays in a handful of big tournaments all over the country. Well, here's Tyler Graham. Oh, boy, this, this fella, 922 rated, playing with all these big dogs. Oh, look at the love. Oh, what Ooh, love, you know, it's Billy still don't rolling. know. It's still rolling. It is trying hard to get back in, but it is not going to make it. Oh, I mean, he hits the bamboo. He jumps out of bounds. And as you said, he's from Richmond, Virginia. He hasn't been playing that long, 922. You know he has got to be a nervous rag, Liz. Oh, you bet. He's playing with 2,000 rated players, one that's trying to be 1,000 rated, and he's playing Winthrop Gold. Well, he's playing with the number one player rated in the world, and he's playing with a kid that has set every record you ever want coming up through the juniors. Oh, boy, this one looks, uh, that's shorter. looks high. It's stabbing in the ground safe, but it's right up against that bamboo. And here, a kid we're talking about, this is a young phenom. This is David Wiggins Jr. Multiple world titles. Uh, he's a member of Team Innova and just got his license. So we're going to get to see him play a little more now. <laughs> he's going to take the straight eye at line uh, with plenty of success. Almost touches the pin as he drives by it. Well, great shot there from Wiggins. We'll let him come on down. This is the lead card from the 2011 USDGC Performance Edition. 
Okay, this is a tricky shot here on hole number seven. We just actually got a chance to see one of these go in, but he's going up and over. Probably not real comfortable with that shot. Well, probably not a shot he's, he's on... made very often. You don't you generally have a 15-foot bamboo wall in front of you. <laughs> really? I've never seen that before. Well, now <laughs> stepping up. Here's John, it looks like. Him. Yeah, he had a good looking shot, came in with this side. I'm just a little over aggressive, but he's got a great opportunity here to cart a birdie. You're right, and he's collected himself a little bit of a gallery here as they're walking through Winthrop Park. Well, I believe he's got some students that just walked up, so he's got himself about a 50 person gallery right here. If he wasn't nervous playing with David Felberg or David Wiggins, the cameras just showed up and the gallery. <laughs> what a moment to be in. All he's got to do is concentrate on the chain and make his putt. Very good concentration by John Ellis. He is definitely a 993 rated golfer. Yeah, he is out of the David Feldberg area of Portland. Chances are those two guys have played a practice round together. All right, Tyler Graham back up to make his putt. He just got over the bamboo and he's still out. Well, he was in on one, out on two. Oh, he and just barely three. got that one in. That would have been for his five with a penalty. I believe uh, the number one rated player is gonna be out before Wiggins. Wiggins almost touched the pole and he's only three or four feet away and Dave's all of six feet away. Uh, maybe more like 10. Nine and a half. There we go, Billy. Dave Felberg cards himself a two. Wiggins should easily card himself a two, not even taking the bag off of his back. Now this is lead card action from the second day here at the 2011 USDGC Performance Edition. Well, I hope everyone has gotten a chance to enjoy some of today's coverage. I know it's been exciting out there. It's another long, grueling day for these guys, but they're all put there down here to grind it out, and that's exactly what they're doing. Well, it's the performance edition, but it is the patience edition from these players. Five and a half to six hour rounds, and we'll see if David Feldberg continue to do what he's doing it's quite simply amazing. That's right, a lot of great things are happening today. You know, John Key, he had the hot round. Uh, a check was written to the Special Olympics that does sponsor the disc golfers. And actually, we had a couple of uh, participants come out and help us spot on some of the holes today. I know that you could see the excitement in their eyes in the Special Olympics. And John Key's name got a little bit of extra money from this charity event. Well, it's been a big week so far, and Liz, I mean, we couldn't ask for better weather. No, we, not at all. <laughs> we couldn't ask for better people out here, and we are just seeing so much love out here. We'll be here all week long till the last putt drops. I'm Billy Crump. I'm Liz Carr. And he's Boz. We are Clash DVD.